Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on the HostGator. I know I wrote a blog post about this, but I figure a lot of people don't like reading a 1,000 word blog post. And uh, if a picture is worth 1,000 words, well, a video is worth a million. So this is a step by step. Okay, the first thing you do after you sign up for a HostGator account is HostGator will send you an email that looks something like this one. I purposely blanked out the uh, domain name, username, and password for security reason. But this email will allow you, will give you the information you need to log into your control panel. So just click this link here, and boom, it'll bring up the control panel. Enter your username and password. So, you know, you enter username, then enter your password. And then you log in. Okay, we're in the HostGator control panel. And from here, you'll be able to install WordPress and a bunch of other stuff, really. You'll also be able to claim your $100 Google AdWords uh, credit here if you want to redeem that. So there's a lot of icons, but do not be intimidated by it. There's only one icon we're after, and it's near the bottom. And there's software and services. We are looking for Fantastical Deluxe. Click that. This is Fantastical, and Fantastical allows you to install, as you can see, a ton of different software automatically. Go look on the blog, see WordPress, click on that, and we're going to do a new WordPress installation. Now we need to fill out some information here, and install directory, we're going to leave that blank because we want to install in the root directory. Username, this is the username for your blog and the password for your blog. And here is the admin username, enter email here, enter name of the site here, and description. So I'm gonna fill these out, and then we'll go on to the next step. It asks me to finish the installation, so just click finish. Now we're gonna enter in the URL for a new blog. And there it is. Hello world. We're now gonna log into the blog for the very first time. Just enter the uh, WP admin, and you'll need to enter the username and password that you created when you use Fantastical to set up your blog. So enter in your blog username, enter the password here, and just click login and we'll go inside. Okay, we're inside WordPress now. This is the control panel. And as you see, the first thing you notice is that there's a new version of WordPress came out. Fantastical doesn't always have the latest version, so we're gonna update it. Just click the please update now and just choose update automatically and it will do for you automatically. As you can see, updating, updating, boom, we're done. Go to dashboard, now we're running the latest version of WordPress. Go to plugins, first thing you do is uh, hello Dolly, we don't use, I'm going to delete that. We has to delete it. And we know Eskimet is asking there's a new version, so click upgrade automatically. And it's up, look how fast it is, just like that. Activate the plugin. Now keep in mind, this automatic upgrade stuff only works uh, for web hosts that supports this feature. And HostGator is one of those hosts. Now we're going to add the plugins that I agree to on the uh, free WordPress installation service. So let's choose Add New. And we're going to search for WordPress.com stats. Search for plugins. There's WordPress.com stats. Install now. Say OK, activate, all right, next one, we're going to go for after deadline, oops, after the deadline, Matt recommended by Matt Mullywig himself, after the deadline, install, OK, activate, I mean, see how easy this is, I mean, it's like anyone can do this. Next, uh, it's going to be all-in-one SEO, all-in-one SEO pack. And that's all-in-one SEO pack. Install. OK. There you go. Activate. All right, next, we're going to go for Google Sitemap. Google XML Sitemap. Google XML Sitemap is right here. Install. OK. Activate. 
right. Next after that is a uh, hmm, what's that? Show top commentators. Uh, this cop commentator widget. Install now. Yep. Activate. And the last one is the W3 Total Cache. Install. Install and activate. There you go. Okay, all plug, all seven plugins has been installed. A few more. Now we need to go to our settings. Go to privacy and choose. I would like to make this site visible to the search engine. Hit save. Now go back to settings again and go to permalinks and. We don't want to use the default structure. We want to use a custom structure. And in this case, I like to use just the post name. This will make the URL.com slash whatever the name of the post is. So we'll save that. All right. Now we need to, uh, RM1S Yo Pack needs me to do a little update. So we need to enable that. Click enable. Uh, home page title. Um, you just enter in the homepage title. I think this is called No Budget Marketing Tips. I uh, will use Welcome to. Welcome to. Home description. Uh, I guess we we'll use Budgeting is for Wimps. There you go. Keywords. Um, well, we'll fill those out later. But you get from R1 SEO allows you to adjust many, many parameters. Mostly I just leave them as it is and you can adjust them. As you need it. So update. Okay, on one SEO is all set up now. Now we get to go to performance. This is a W3 total cache. We need to turn that on. Let's go to general settings. And we need to first disable the preview mode. Then we will select everything. Hit save. And that turns on all the features. You get an error message saying CDN is not working. That's because I haven't set up a CDN not yet. So I'm going to scroll down to the CDN and uncheck that. Hit save. And while we're at it, we might as well uh, remove the uh, dashboard widget, the news widget. Don't want anything from them. And lastly, just empty the page cache. And that is basically it. All plugins have been installed. Cache has been turned on. The only thing left to do really is to uh, go to ASCIIMET and get an API key for the uh, ASCIIMET uh, spam protector and the WordPress.com uh, WordPress stats. Once you get those keys, these two will disappear and you are done. So take a look. There you go. The site is there. It's all set up. All the plugs are in place. All you can do now is just go to post, new blog post, and you're ready. You're ready to blog.